You guys, life has been hitting me so hard in the face that I didn't, I forgot it was Vlogmas. So it's freaking vlogmas and I look the exact same as I did when I started the last vlogmas aka a disaster and I'm just really excited to be here. Alicia Marie finally posted her vlogmas day one. Um, I don't do daily vlogs. I tried that once and it just wasn't wasn't my jam for that time. So here we are. Week long vlogs. Ready? I went dumpster diving the other day and so I found this puzzle and I'm trying to make sure that all the pieces are there so I'm counting them all. Um, and then today I'm gonna go dance with my friend Autumn and then I'm going to run to the post office and then I want to list some more items for my little side hustle business. So that's on the agenda today. Oh, oh that's my auntie. <laughs> What's up? No, I'm going to the. I'm just going to the post office, and I'm going to stop at my friend's house. I'm off today. I know. When Auntie just comes to your house to visit, I was just talking to Magda, and she said, and I was like, "You should come dance with us." And then she was like, "I'm just going to rest." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, that's know. valid." I asked her first because whatever. I'm just gonna. Okay, vlog. So you definitely met Autumn. You met her at the drive-in rave. I can link that in the cards. But yeah, Autumn is a freaking homie. Um, she is an awesome dancer, and I we've never really gotten this chance to like dance together or choreograph together. And so this was really nice, really fun. Oh, I think we're gonna do it again tomorrow. All right, I'm masked up and I'm going in. Whoop! I gotta send this in. It is free coffee Wednesday. You already know. Hello. Hi, can I just get a um, medium uh, gingerbread iced coffee, please? Cream With cream and sugar, yes, please. It should be the yes. Tiki Majiggy. Yes. Yay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, okay. What the frick is up, fam? Um, I feel like I've been on a complete and total roll filming these videos. Who knows when they'll ever come out. And I'm ready for 2020 to be over. But. Get that out of the frame. We out here reacting to my Spotify most listened 2020 whatever recap thing. See how I listened in 2020. I'm like actually nervous you guys. I have no idea what's going to be. I actually have some guesses of what it's going to be full of. So if you know me at all, you know I listen to a frick ton of podcasts and a ton of ton of music. Music is like everything. I love it so much. And so I listen to a lot of Spotify. I swear I'm streaming like 20 hours a day probably. And so I'm ready to look at back at 2020 and see what the frick I was listening to. Let's go. Okay, we're doing it. I'm so nervous. Wait, this is cool. The longest year ever. Oh, that's cool how they did that. I didn't realize that at first. 2020 wrapped. Let's start you off with a win. I discovered 213 new artists this year. 
213 new artists. That's like kind of surprising because usually I find new artists when I'm going to a festival and I want to get more familiar with the lineup. But then everything got canceled this year. I feel like 213 new artists is pretty lit for not even having like festivals to keep me grounded in my music discovery journey. Genre lust. Who says you have to go outside to explore? I listened to 369 genres this year. That doesn't even sound real. I did, how is there even that many? Including 51 new ones. No idea. But Subtronics is playing. I'm nervous. What? I feel like this isn't even real. Okay. Number one, EDM. Okay. Number two, pop. I feel like who is categorized as pop because I feel like I don't actually listen to a lot of pop, but that's fine. That's okay. Pop punk was number three, modern rock, and pop rap. And I'm really interested to see like what artists and what type of like music they group under each of those because that doesn't, um, even like pop rap, what, like maybe Mod Sun or something, MGK. I don't know, modern rock, like modern rock? What is that? I don't know, I'm also sweating. I know this sweatshirt is deceiving, but I'm sweating a lot. One, <laughs> one song helped you get through it all. 22, I'm fucking dead. That's hilarious, I should I knew that was coming, I really did. First stream, May 19th, I did that shit on my birthday. Some kind of disaster, sleeping in. All Time Low's new album, literally made three of their songs in the top five that's amazing i'm not even surprised your top podcast of the year mile higher radio rental crash test live and lights out yes i i think this year well i guess when i was living in france i started listening to a lot of podcasts too because i had a lot of like like self-discovery and not even just that but like free time and i started listening to a lot of podcasts but in the last year i think i could understand why i probably have like 30 listen hours at least. No, okay, I, that's way too low. I probably have 100 listen hours of just like mile higher because I'd be listening to podcasts. Guess my, oh, I have to guess which podcast? I'm gonna guess mile higher. Nailed it. You guys, if you don't listen to the Mile Higher podcast but you have big ideas or like true crime, either of the two, this podcast is for you. In a total, I spent 14,894 minutes listening to podcasts. Oh, and Mile Marker 181, I forgot about that one. That was a crazy story. My biggest binge listen was Mile Marker 181. I could understand that. 11 episodes in one day. I'm a pioneer. What does that mean? I listened to Frustrated before it hit 50,000 streams. Oh, I tweeted at Lauren Sanderson like three days after the song came out and I was like, Bet your ass this is on my top playlist for 2020 because I, I'm i still binge, like listening to it 65 times a day, I fucking swear. Compared to other listeners, which decade did you play the most? 90s, 70s, 2000s, or 1890s? 1890s? I meant 1980s. Um, what decade do I think? Probably like, I did listen to like a lot of Grateful Dead and like classic rock. I'm gonna say the 80s? The 2000s. My top... <laughs> Your top song from this time was Weightless by All Time Low. I'm literally, you guys, I'm such a hoe for All Time Low. If I invested as much time and money in myself as I did in this band, I could be A, a millionaire, B, not working nine to five, C, a freaking monk on the meditation like journey because honestly, you guys, they're probably gonna tell me I had 45 days worth of listening to All Time Low. Ooh, this is tough. Guess your top artist of the year. Okay, it's between Elenium, All Time Low, Quinn 92, and Lauren Sanderson, all of which I did stream a frick load, especially because... Oh, no, 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 I want to guess. Because in January of this year, I went to see Elenium in Colorado with the homies. I will link it up here in the cards. And I we saw him at the X Games, and that whole, like the month leading up to it, like all while I was there, like we were blasting Millennium and like I guess that was a while ago, but, and then Quinn 92 is just such a summer jam and Lauren Sanderson is a god, but we know all time low is the right answer because. You were in the top 0.5 of their listeners this year. 0.5%. Favorite song of theirs was some kind of disaster and you spent 2,931 minutes listening to their music. I listened to 1,000, 
415 artists this year. This is... Honestly, this is not that much different than last year except for I think Elenium switched out for Seven Lions. Part of me is like I'm not surprised and part of me is like I feel like I branched out a lot this year so like what? You guys 2020 has been a crazy freaking year and the thing is like we're all saying like oh 2020 needs to be over but it's so much more than just a year you guys. It's people, it's humanity turning around turning against each other turning to work together there's been so many ups and downs i feel like really at the heart of it all for me i can always come back to music and have music and like it's so cliche like when words fail music speaks but honestly like i have never connected with people in such a way better than i have through music and like having no festivals from 2020 and like all this stuff it's like it's been really hard for anyone who's really invested in a musical community and i think it, if anything what we need to take away from this is that we need to freaking work together we are a human race and it is never going to change if we don't work together i mean even when we don't see eye to eye like we can have open communication like it is possible music is very powerful and if you haven't felt that yet you're listening to the wrong music there is so much out there like it sometimes stresses me out that i will never know all the music in the world but what's that phrase it's like there is music out there for you that will shake you to your core because you can feel the raw emotion and humanity and you will understand like the human condition i i just don't know how to explain it but if you love music and you want to see more awesome content like music festivals and traveling and just some live music events in 2021 please make sure to subscribe you can follow along with all the adventures on live and large with l crew on instagram i am very thankful that you are here 2021 is going to be a freaking ride another amazing year because we're gonna make it one because i'm sick of this 2020 bs and so we gotta move forward together. Happy Vlogmas Day 3! <laughs> She's over me. For the winter, for the just... Happy Vlogmas! We're um we're going just shopping. It's windy. We're just gonna walk around and see what's up in the stores these days. But COVID friendly because wear a mask, everyone. Happy holidays. So it's late and I have to get to work in the morning, but I'm trying to finish up my this vlog that you will already finally be up by the time you guys see this about David freaking Dobrik and my time piercing his ears. Um, I can link it in the cards right up here if you have not seen it yet, but talk about a freaking vlog in this story. We're decorating the tree. Dad's fluffing up the tree for us. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie, Fluffy. Hi, doggy. Hi, doggy. Um, so I keep forgetting that it's Vlogmas and I'm about to go to work and I feel like this video should already be uploaded like today but hopefully in like the next couple days but i my work schedule is absolutely crazy um lots of life updates coming i know i just made a life update video like like a month ago maybe but honestly like shit keeps changing and i'm honestly absolutely amazed with um the universe and maybe that will have to be a whole story time too but i'm about to journal it out because like life is crazy you guys so stay tuned uh, yeah she never comes in my room i don't know what she's doing hey as soon as I say something, she leaves. What are you doing in here, baby? Okay, that's enough saliva for me. 
Hey, it's me guys, it's me. I know you probably don't recognize me because I never get ready, but here I am. Um, I also kind of feel like a dog with this bow in my hair. Like, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Like the dogs with the super long hair that's like shaggy and then they put the bow in. Anyway, I'm off to the post office, the bank, and then to work because we got to make that money. I'm literally parts in a certain place so that I could get better lighting. All right, masked up, we're going in. Okay, final stop. I just drove up and down this parking lot like four times trying to find a freaking spot that was close to the door. Didn't succeed in that, so I'm far. As a hill. Look, is she all the way up there? Okay, y'all, so y'all know my main girl, Magda. She texted me on my way out of work and was like, you should come over once you're off. And those are the best kind of things after a long day is when my friends are hanging out and I get to go hang out and I'm so excited, let's go. Good morning. You got a full ass driveway, dude. Oh, can I be in your vlog? Yeah, say hi. Oh, hi. It's Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas. Hi, everyone. Your vlog rolling up. Oh, my God. Fire. Everyone's in the hottest room. Oh, Armando was saving me. All right, so I didn't really vlog much there, but I did get some really funny videos of Adrian rapping that I'm going to enter here. Oh, bro. The diamond, though. Are we even. Crying though, <laughs> but I'm still crying though. What happened? <laughs> Why are you crying though? I'm thinking this song because we all get along. Oh, we get along. Shit. Oh, but after we get along, <laughs> you call them ma because you said ah. <laughs> But otherwise, I made it home safe and I'm ready for bed because I have to go to work in the morning. I'd just like to thank everyone for tuning in to Vlogmas Week 1. I know that it has a quite, been a quite chaotic year, so welcome to a quite chaotic video. Today, I encourage you to dive deep into yourself and, and figure out your path. What, what are you truly here to do? Um, that's a, a, a journey I've been on um, recently. Keep living large and I'll catch you on the flip. <laughs> <laughs>